The men and women who make up our armed forces represent the very best that we have, as a country have to offer. Day after day, they put themselves in harm's way so we can live without fear. When I saw a story last week about uh, what our Pentagon is doing to our wounded soldiers, they want them to actually give back some of the bonus money that they got when they signed up. Blood started just shooting out of my eyes. I, I wonder who we are sometimes. Paul Rykoff is the founder and executive director of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Um, Paul, the Pentagon now is saying that this was just some sort of an error. This, uh, nobody was really asked to, to uh, uh, turn this money back in. That was just a clerical error. You buy that? Uh, I don't, Glenn. I think it's an inexcusable error, even if it was what someone's considered a, an error. Uh, Any time our soldiers are wounded in combat, they've literally put life and limb on the line. And the idea that this soldier, pri Private First Class Jordan Fox, uh, who has gotten a bit of news attention lately, has to pay back $3,000 of a signing bonus because he was wounded is absolutely inexcusable. It's also, uh, if it is an error, something they knew about at the Pentagon since July. Uh, the President's Commission on Wounded Warriors, headed by Bob Dole and Donna Shalala, brought this to Congress uh, and brought this to the Department of defense way back in July. So they've had plenty of time to act on this, but unfortunately it's taken uh, the courage of one young service member to really make it a national issue. Right. And this uh, this was brought to uh, to the attention by Private First Class Fox, um, and he said that it couldn't have been an error because they gave another notice to him in the meantime that said, we're now going to start uh, charging you fines for the money. Absolutely. They, they wanted to charge him interest. Uh, and this was a soldier who had a back injury, almost lost an eye due, due to an improvised explosive device uh, that exploded near his vehicle. So this guy's dealing with enough already. And he, sh he shouldn't have to have the Department of Defense tracking him down for money that he's entitled to anyway as a part of his initial signing bonus. So uh, our organization and others are very upset about this. And there's a way people can get involved. They can go to our website, IAVA.org. There's legislation pending. We need to get every member of Congress signed on to this bill to make sure this is fixed immediately. I tell you, America, you're going to get your health care from these weasels. What are you, out of your mind? This is the way we treat our heroes. Um, you said a minute ago, you said um, that Private First Class Fox had courage. Um, there are a lot of people that this has happened to, but they haven't had the courage. Why are, why are veterans afraid to speak out? I think they, they may be worried that this is going to endanger their benefits, that maybe it'll slow it down even further. Uh, some of them are still in National Guard and Reserve, over 500,000 people who served in Iraq and Afghanistan are part of our reserve component force, so they may be reluctant to step forward. They're worried about being blacklisted or some kind of virtue, but they should contact our organization or contact their congressman if they've uh, had this type of problem arise because it's absolutely inexcusable. Yeah. They will be protected, and, and we and other organizations that support veterans will do everything we can yeah. to get it fixed. Veterans have 350,000 claims that that have not been filed yet. They, they, they filed them and they, they haven't been paid. Uh, 350000 Let me tell you something. If you are a vet and you're watching this show and you got a problem, you, you either get it to Paul and his organization, you get it to me. This is a, a, absolutely inexcusable and we will take care of it. It's the right thing to do. Paul, thank you very much. Thank you, Glenn. Appreciate it. You bet. Coming up, our economy, no matter what...